We've all seen, or at minimum are aware, of Joe Biden's debate performance last night. Let me remind you of what the corporate media was telling you as they were shilling for Joe Biden in the lead up to this debate. I think he's better than he's ever been intellectually, um, analytically. I have a lot of questions. I better not start the questions. I'll get in trouble. Start your tape right now because I'm about to tell you the truth. And F you if you can't handle the truth. This version of Biden, intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. And wants to get away with, get rid of the ability of Medicare to, uh, the, to for the ability to, for the, the I, what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. No one was hurt. No one Israeli was accidentally killed. And it, it stopped. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative. Not a close second. And I've known him for years. The Brzezinski's have known him for 50 years. If it weren't the truth, I wouldn't say it. This is not just MSNBC. This is all over CNN, any leftist outlet. My question is, how can anybody continue to trust these people? Can you not see with your own eyes, based on the debate, what they assured you was a fallacy, a right-wing conspiracy, and all the lies the Trump campaign was telling. Don't trust your lying eyes, trust us, because we have access to the man. We're the corporate media, and we've always told you the truth. These people are shills. They are not to be believed, not ever. They have their talking points. And the only reason that they're backtracking it on it now is because it is so apparent to anybody who's seen the debate just how far Joe Biden has declined mentally that they can no longer keep the genie in the bottle. And the genie in that bottle is knowledge and truth that they have been suppressing, that they have been pounding back into Aladdin's lamp because they want to control the genie. They want to control the narrative that goes around the world. And this has been apparent for years. In 2019, I stated that Joe Biden had obvious signs of dementia when he couldn't even remember who he was running against. Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is gonna find ourselves in a position where if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're gonna- That was 2019. They stuffed it. They lied about it. The same way they lied about Hunter Biden's laptop. 51 former intelligence agents declared that the Hunter Biden laptop had all the hallmarks of Russian disinformation. And you were banned on social media, the New York Post was, for their article. And every single media outlet, say Fox News, maybe a couple others, called it fallacious propaganda, a conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theorists are the ones that are propagating the narrative that Joe Biden is mentally sharp. Not a close second, and I've known him for years. The Brzezinski's have known him for 50 years. If it weren't the truth, I wouldn't say it. That he has all his faculties, that he's at the top of his game. These are the people that we need to drop immediately and see them as the propagandists that they are. They're not there to tell you the truth. They are there on behalf of the big corporations like Pfizer, who are paying their bills, who account, Big Pharma overall, counts for 70 something percent of all network TV advertisement. Brought to you by Pfizer. Brought to you by Pfizer. Brought to you by Pfizer. Do you not think that they are going to pander to the narrative that these pharmaceutical companies wish to be disseminated to the masses. Thus, the COVID vaccine was safe and effective long after we knew that it was neither safe or effective. The, the, the various shots that people are getting now cover that. They're, they're, you're okay. You're not going to get COVID if you have 
these vaccinations. Yeah. Long after we knew that it didn't prevent transmission and they call for mandates and the idea that it is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. We've made vaccinations free, safe and convenient. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin and your refusal has cost all of us. Let me ask you one simple question. Do you know anybody who did not take the COVID vaccine who currently regrets not doing so? And how many people do you know who took the COVID vax, if you wanna call it that, because once again, in order to meet the definition of a vaccine, they had to literally change the definition of vaccine. How many people do you know that took the vax that now regret it? A number of people. Everybody out there knows these are paid propagandists. They are not there for to try to disseminate the truth. They do not come out and say, we erred, we made an error very often, if at all. And the only reason that they are doing so now is because the narrative has been completely exposed for everybody to see. Why trust these people? These people should be thrown into jail for crimes against humanity in terms of propping up the narrative to mandate the vaccine to children that you could not go into your workplace unless you had it with the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax, which set the nation back with the fine people hoax, which they poured over and over and over again on network TV, trying to make you believe that Trump was racist and dividing our nation. These people are not good people. They are not trying to do the right job. They are flat out evil. And we must all release any attachment that we have to believing them that I had growing up. I used to believe that the New York Times was the top of the food pyramid in terms of dissemination of news, that they were the gold star, the gold medal winner in news. And so I just urge you, if you guys out there still have any belief in the media, why? They've been demonstrated to be liars, propagandists, and shills. If you have a thought on that, please leave it in the discussion below because I'd love to hear from you. We can discuss. And I wish you all a great day, except for Joy Reid, MSNBC, Morning Joe, CNN, and all the leftist outlets that gaslit us, that lied, that made Trump's presidency less effective than it otherwise would be. These people, honestly, are evil. Again, your thoughts in the comments. Peace.